A friend of the channel named Corey Stokes had a wicked cool idea for a tutorial. In comments, he posted this question. Do you know of any way to make text like scrolling credits shrink or recede into the background like the effect they used in Star Wars? I think what Corey's talking about is that famous text crawl where the text sort of goes into the horizon at the start of every Star Wars movie. After looking around for a solution, I found out that the Stream Effects plugin can actually do this. And here is the OBS Studio proof of concept. Check this out. So regardless of your interest in recreating this effect, if you do watch the tutorial in its entirety, you will learn how to manipulate text in three-dimensional space, and you'll learn how to activate two media sources with one hotkey. Let's get some. Electrify your online presence with live streaming. If you want to learn OBS Studio or any hardware or software that makes your live stream super fun and cool for your viewers, you have found the right channel. Subscribe and click the bell for new video notifications. All right, my friend, let's download the StreamFX plugin so that we can begin to manipulate text in three dimension. You can just Google download StreamFX OBS and you'll find this page. I will put a link in the description so you can find it that way as well. When you get here, click the go to download button and it will take you to GitHub. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and you will see the available downloads. As you can see, there's one for Linux. There is a exe file for Windows. But where's, where's the, download the download for Mac? For Mac? <laughs> I did some research. And I found out that if you're a Mac user, you're in good shape. Here's the page. I will put a link to the description. If you Google stream effects for Mac, you'll find it. Scroll down. And one of the users called Erasor1112 created a download zip with instructions to help you get this running on your computer. So if you click this link here, it'll take you to this Rapid Gator website which is slightly funky, but I don't think it's an issue. Just click the slow speed download button. It'll give you this prompt and the download will start after 45 seconds. Let me give you a quick breakdown on what's going on with the sources in this demonstration. If I go into the Star Wars scene that I've created here, the first thing is this background with all this cool red gas and these planets flying by. It's called Nebula Blue. You can actually download it for free. It is commercial free at pixabay.com link in the description. The next one is the text. When I click it, then right click on it and go into filters, you can see the effect of the filters on the text itself. So if I turn the eye off for the 3D transform that's created with stream effects, you'll see that it goes back to just a flat looking kind of layout. And of course, I've got a scroll filter applied. And if I turn the eyeball off on that, it stops scrolling, okay? So we'll get into how to manipulate that text in three-dimensional space. Okay, the next two are the TIE Fighter and the Falcon sound effects going by with the hotkey. Email me at YouTube at BlueFoxCreative.com if you have questions about how to get your hands on it. I did some special stuff. I can tell you that I removed the stars from the background so that I could isolate the background and remove it so that when the ships fly by, you don't see the stars in the black space behind the objects. Email me if you're interested in gaining access to both the sound effect and the flying ships. Okay, the last one is the audio. I'll turn it on right here. It sounds just like Star Wars. It comes from Epidemic Sound. If you don't have an Epidemic Sound account, I can tell you that if you go into your audio library, okay, and search for Star Wars, hit enter, it shows two songs. One is called Imperial Forces, which kind of sounds like it could be a Star Wars song. And then the other one is called The New Order. They don't sound as close to what you would hear in Star Wars, like the song I was playing in the demo, but they get you pretty close, and they're 100% free. So you're still in business if you want to try to do something similar to this demonstration. Now, let's go into the text source, and I'm going to show you how to apply the filter to get it to scroll and how to get it to sort of get flat and disappear into the horizon.
There are two considerations when trying to make this work. Number one, if you look at a screen grab from the Star Wars movie, you'll notice that the text is aligned left and right. That's called justify. It's what you see in a newspaper so that you get these solid columns of text, right? Unfortunately, that does not exist in the OBS text source as a parameter. So I just created some text in a text file and line wrapped the text so that I could get as close to as I could on the right hand side so that the text looks sort of justified. So you're going to have to do the same thing. I try to keep it around four or five words, so you're going to have to kind of a little bit experiment with, with that kind of thing, just to try to get it as close as possible. The second thing is when you activate the scene, you want the text to not be seen and come into view, out of frame, and then comes into view and disappears into the horizon. The best way that I found to accomplish that is to add a, a empty space before the first couple words. So that's what this section is here. And I created these empty spaces by clicking Alt and then clicking the numbers 255 in a PC and it creates an empty space. And I drop those in the beginning. Now this has an impact on how much text can be seen for some reason. Maybe somebody can shed some light in the, on, on why this occurs in comments. But what happens is when you put all these characters in the beginning, the bottom part gets cut off. So anything after Death Star, all this text here gets removed. And I'm not sure how to make that containment box longer so that you can continue to see as much text as you want when adding empty characters in the beginning. So that's another consideration. You're going to have to sort of finagle how to do that if that's even a concern for you when you, you know, activate the scene for the first time. Okay, let's take a look at the filters for the text source. Right click on the text source that you've created, go to filters, and I've got a scroll filter, which is fairly cut and dry. You can modify the vertical speed by the lower slider here. I try to make it pretty slow so that people can read the text as it's coming from the bottom to the top. I have it checked off on loop so that I can see what is happening when I apply the parameters in the 3D transform filter and that's added by clicking the plus sign and it's the first thing at the top of the list and if you don't see it it usually means that you need to restart OBS if you did actually install stream effects onto your version of OBS studio okay so if you don't see it restart OBS so click your filter 3d transform and it's going to default to selecting orthographic you don't want that you want to make sure it's selected to perspective and the primary parameter that you're going to want to manipulate here is pitch. And that's what makes that text sort of super flat or not flat based on the slider, okay? You may also want to experiment with the X and Y, which is your scale, okay? So you may want to experiment with that as well. Here's what Y looks like. It almost looks like a time dilation when you do that. So this could be a cool effect if you wanted to sort of make a time tunnel, I don't know. You're probably going to at some point experiment with yaw and roll and you're gonna mess it all up and you're like, oh my God, what did I do? All you have to do is highlight the stuff in the field and hit zero and it puts it all back perfectly, okay? Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to click one hotkey and it will play both the audio and the movie file of the TIE Fighter and the Millennium Falcon. Here we go. The key is making sure they don't play when the scene opens up for the first time. So if you right click and select properties for this video, the two things I have checked off are show nothing when playback ends and close the file when it's inactive. That stops it from playing automatically. And for the audio in properties, I just checked off close file when inactive. And that means that they won't play when the scene opens up. And if I go to settings, and go into hotkeys and scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll notice that there are some hotkey fields available for both the media items here. So for the flight video, I have a restart with shift A and the fighter video is also shift A. So they both play at the same time when I hit that key. And that's what makes OBS really cool because you can activate the thing at any time you want when the music's playing. Super cool. Okay, if you like this special effect, let me tell you, this is just scratching the surface with OBS Studio and other plugins. For example, there's this plugin called Move Transitions, and there's this little hidden parameter that allows you to move objects, and you can decide how to move them, to the sound of your favorite song. If you don't believe me, check out this demonstration. Once again. 
So in this tutorial, it's super easy to understand. It's clear. I sprinkle in some humor so that it keeps you interested. It's all about the Move Transition plugin. You're going to absolutely love it. I hope to see you over there. If you have any questions, post them in comments. Best wishes to you. Stay strong and keep fighting. Yeah. Stay strong and keep fighting.